Hi everyone, I have some exciting news to share with you. I've created a super convenient Blender add-on using ChatGPT. Well, more specifically, it's not exactly ChatGPT, it's the chat from Microsoft. Anyway, so what does this add-on do? Let me show you. I often fix the view on an object while animating something, and this is how I used to do it. I had to open the end panel with the end key, go to view, this one could be hidden, I had to expand it, and then select the cube. Now your view is fixed on the object. If your end panel was hidden, you had to expand it again to release the view. When I work with simple objects, I'm more or less fine with the process. But when it comes to character animation, I go to pose mode. Now I had to go back to the end panel, select my character's rig, and then separately select the bone I needed. There's no eyedropper here, with which I could just click on the bone I need. Every time I had to search for it from this list of bones. And it was very inconvenient for me every time. But now, thanks to my add-on, and of course thanks to the AI, all I had to do was just to describe what I wanted to get in the end. It was something like, write a Blender add-on that will create a button in the end panel called Log View to Object. By clicking on that button, the view will be fixed on the selected object, or something like that. And then AI will give you the code for the add-on, just copy it, paste it to notepad, save, and then change the format to .py. And done! Now I have my own add-on, and it just blew my mind. It's so easy to create simple add-ons using just text prompts. And now let's install it. Go to Preferences, Install, select the log view file, click here, put a check mark, and close it. Open the end panel, and here it is. Log view to object. Well, as you can see, now all we have to do is select the object we need, click on this button, and that's it. Everything is fixed. And click again to release the view from object. The same works in pose mode. Select the armature, go to pose mode. Let's select the bone, for example, the thigh. Lock to view, and it's done. Everything works as it should. Click again to release the view. But what's really cool, I don't want to go to the end panel. It's not always convenient for me to do this. I personally prefer to use the quick favorites with the Q key. It's much faster to use. To add the lock view to quick favorites, right click on the button, add to quick favorites. And it's done! You can now hide the end panel, select for example Spine, press the Q key, Lock View to Object. Ta-da! Everything is super convenient. Click Q again, Lock View to Object, and it releases the view. Well, that's all I guess. <laughs> I hope if anyone needed this kind of add-on, then I was able to help you. You can find the link to the add-on in the description. It's free, so download it. <laughs> I don't know, there's just nothing special about it, uh, so of course I made it free. Just want to help the Blender community this way. So yeah, thanks everyone for watching the video, hit the like button if you like it, and bye everyone. <laughs>